Hey Mechatronics students, this is Andrew Dowlin, and in this video we're going to be talking about the vertical mill and specifically how we go about adjusting spindle speeds. So first thing we're going to talk about is the tooling that's used for a lot of these, uh, a lot of this equipment is considered right hand tooling. And what that means, if you were to grab a standard right hand bolt and when you tighten that, okay, you can see that the bolt uh, gets tighter, right? That's uh, turning it to the right. So if we're going to take a look at a drill bit, a lot of the tooling that we use, uh, the different cutters, um, look at them and you'll see that as you turn them to the right, that's where they're going to do their cutting. And maybe you've done this, I know I have by accident many times, where you put in a drill bit and you have it running backwards. Notice it doesn't cut so well. Same thing is going to go with all the different tooling and cutters that we're using on the vertical mill. So make sure it's turning to the right. Now a couple things I want to point out. Uh, we're going to switch over to uh, this unit here, and you can see a forward and reverse switch here. And it turns out that this is a bit arbitrary. What that means is, if we're set up for the regular high speed, yeah, when I turn this forward, you can see it's moving forward. And, uh, you know, looking at this, uh, you can see the rotation, the direction is turning to the right. So that's good. Um, However, this mill has a few different ways you can adjust the speed. Um, there's a hand crank over here, and it says uh, that we should only adjust this when it's moving, when the spindle is actually moving. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I crank this hand wheel, I should only be turning this when the spindle is moving. Right? That's the only time and we can see the different speeds that, that the uh, spindle is spinning at. So the inside numbers are what we call high speed, and the outside numbers are low speed. So this is at 500, and while it's running, I can crank it up. All right, get, getting toward the red line here. That's about 3,000 RPMs. Okay. So this forward reverse direction that we see here right hand would be forward, left hand would be a reverse, applies only in high speed. Now there's a strange thing that happens inside of here. Uh, off to this direction, we're going to switch our camera angle here and take a look at something else. So over here is a switch, and that switch says high and low. All right, so this has two different settings, and my camera did a weird thing there. Must have got interrupted. All right, so this high speed, low speed, we can turn this handle, and we might need to grab the spindle and turn it by hand a little bit here to get the gears to engage. And then it pops back out. All right, that's going to give us uh, our high speed, low speed intervals there. All right, so let me uh, show you a better angle of what that looks like with the different camera. Just give me a second. Okay, so that's its low speed configuration there. And to adjust that, you're going to pull this handle in, and I push it in, and toggle it back, and you have to wait for the gears to engage. Um, so it does take two hands to operate this, but you'll feel it when it engages. It has a positive place. So that's going to be our high speed, low speed to shift the, the spindle speed. And over here, we can see that spindle dial up close. Again, the inner numbers are high speed. The outer numbers are low speed. And the reason I'm showing you this is that uh, when we switch back and we uh, run this thing in low speed, so I switched gears to low speed, um, now when I run this forward, it's hard to tell, but you see the spindle is actually moving the opposite direction. All right, so again, I can demonstrate that. Um, I'm going to go up here with my camera, okay, show you that when it's running in the forward speed, forward speed low, okay, there's the spindle down there, and you'll see that that is spinning the opposite direction. So here's the, uh, the whole point of this, okay is that when it's set up for low speed, reverse becomes forward, 
and forward becomes reverse. So low speed reverse makes it turn to the right for a right hand cutter. High speed, then everything's kosher, right? So you lock the, uh, change up the dial here, put it in the high speed gear. Now forward becomes forward and reverse is reverse, okay? Actually it said forward reverse, it didn't say left hand, right hand or count clockwise, counterclockwise. So that's the first thing we need to know about changing the speeds on the spindle is that part that uh, changing the gearbox from high to low is located over here. And then our spindle speeds um, are reversed when we switch gears. So reverse becomes forward when we're in low speed. So just double check it. You can always do a quick start stop and verify it's going in the right direction. So I've got it set up now for low speed. I have to go reverse to make it turn to the right for the cutting tools. And then we can use our hand crank here. And it says, do not turn this hand crank unless the spindle's actually running. So that's how you have to adjust the speeds in that direction. So this is gonna get it way down to 60 rotations per minute. So that's rotating about one revolution per second uh, down there. So pretty darn slow. All right, so that covers some of the basics here of adjusting our spindle speeds. The only other thing that's worth mentioning on spindle speeds is this guy right up here is called a brake, right? So when we're running in reverse, if you don't wanna wait for it to stop, you can apply the brake by either pulling up on it away from it, or you can kind of turn it in this direction and that's gonna apply the brakes, make the mill stop. So I'm running it and I wanna stop early, I can hit the brake on here. So that's adjusting spindle speeds and applying the brake. So we'll have a lot more videos to come on all the different all the other parts of the mill and how it's run.